Welcome back to Blue's Garden, growing indoor lettuce. I start with about an inch or two of some potting soil in the bottom. Uh, then I want some seed starter and I thoroughly sift it to get all of the large chunks. I want a really fine uh, seed starting mix. So I sift it through this quarter inch sifter getting rid of all of the big chunks. Take those, toss them aside. Those can be, the bigger chunks can be added to the bottom of your next batch of, of pots that you're gonna use for indoors. Then I begin to fill my pots that I use for my lettuce. Uh, yeah, about an inch from the bottom, but fill it up. Give it a decent watering. And I water with a boiling hot water, and that is to kill fungus gnats. Uh, fungus gnat eggs are in all bagged soil mixes. All bags, they just are. So onto some trays, bottom water to rehydrate all of that potting mix. And then it's time. I'm going to do two to start with. I'm going to do a little gem butterhead, and I will overseed. Uh, I probably won't grow the little heads of lettuce. I will just cut it as leaf lettuce. Um, I will do uh, thoroughly overseed, and then once I am done seeding, I will cover with, again, that same sifted, fine sifted mix, uh, just a really light coating no more than the thickness of the seeds. You'll see lettuce seeds are really tiny, so add a little tiny dusting on top of the seed starter mix. Uh, I label it because, again, <laughs> when you grow a lot, you tend to forget. I will also do the same exact thing for red ruby leaf lettuce. Um, I will start with these two. I already actually have one pot of some red romaine, so... These two will get going, and then I will add more as these are ready to start cutting. Again, a little fine soil on top. And uh, there's the red romaine that I already have. And then it's important to make sure you don't let anything dry out. The seeds don't want to dry out. It'll kill them. Please share this video. It really helps the channel. Share this video if you liked it. Thanks, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more Blues Garden Tips.